Chihuahuas are one of the oldest breeds in the Americas and were used by royalties as hot water bottles. Let's take a look at the smallest dog breed, the Chihuahua. In the late 19th century, Mexican merchants started selling small dogs to border tourists. Those tourists then brought them back to the U.S. to keep as pets. It was a small dog, about 6 to 9 inches tall and weighing between 3 and 7 pounds. It remains the smallest dog breed on earth today. It didn't have an official name back then, but people started calling this tiny but alert, courageous dog after the region of Mexico in which it had been seen, Chihuahua the largest of Mexico's 32 states. However, the Chihuahua's history starts at least a millennia earlier in perhaps the 9th century AD or earlier. The Chihuahua is a descendant of the Tectichi, a small framed companion dog domesticated by several pre-Columbian Mesoamerican civilizations and native North American tribes. With an average weight of 10 to 20 pounds, the Tectichi was roughly twice the size of the modern Chihuahua, but shared many of its physical characteristics. Either the Maya or Toltec were the first to domesticate the Tectichi, and while they may have been bred for food and religious sacrifice, a more appealing theory is that they were like today bred to be companion animals and probably remained so for centuries. The bold and confident Chihuahua is often described as being terrier-like. Its alert nature and suspicion of strangers make it an excellent watchdog. It's sensitive and thrives on affection and companionship. Like their native owners, the Tectichi didn't fare well following the arrival of European colonizers and was nearly eradicated. Those remaining would go on to eventually become the Chihuahua breed we know today. In the 1890s, Mexico's president gave a famous Italian-French opera singer, Adelina Patti, a bouquet of flowers in which a small chihuahua was hidden. Patti felt an immediate connection with her new canine companion, taking Bonito across the country as she toured. At the time, many people have heard of chihuahuas, but never actually seen one. Patti changed the chihuahua's course in history by presenting this affectionate, fun-loving breed to the world. Patty discovered that chihuahuas often bond to a single person, although they're usually willing to make friends with new people if properly introduced. They can be a little reserved at first, though. Chihuahuas may be timid if not properly socialized at an early age. It wasn't until 1904 when Texas resident H. Rayner registered the first chihuahua, Midget, with the AKC. And just a few years later, the AKC had its first Chi champion. By 1915, 30 Chihuahuas were registered with the AKC. The Chihuahua Club of America was founded in 1923 to promote the breed and provide educational resources on health, grooming, and general characteristics. In 1952, the CCA separated the breeds into two different varieties, the smooth coat and the long coat. The smooth coated Chihuahuas has a smooth, shiny coat that fits close to the body with a ruff of thick, long hair on the neck. The hair on the head and ears is thinner and the tail is furry. The long-coated Chihuahua has a soft coat that's flat or slightly curly. On the body, it's almost as smooth as the smooth-coated Chihuahua, but the ears have a fringe of hair and the plumed tail spreads out like a fan over the back. It also has a ruff on the neck and longer hair called feathering on its feet. The hind legs are covered with long hair and resembles pants, and that's what it's called. Word quickly spread about the pint-sized dog with a fierce yet loving personality, sparking newfound popularity for the breed. In 1964, the Chihuahua ranked number 12 based on AKC registrations. The cheese popularity really kicked into high gear in the mid-90s, when Taco Bell hired a talking Chihuahua named Gidget, voiced by Carlos El Azraki, to star in his innovative marketing campaign that birthed the iconic phrase Yo quiero taco, man. Gidget and the Chihuahua breed became instant pipe icons. The Chihuahua shot up at AKC registrations, also aided by the appearance in movies such as Legally Blonde starring Bruiser Woods, played by a chi named Mooney, and then Hollywood It Girl Reese Witherspoon. Now let's not forget Ren from Ren and Stimpy was modeled after a Chihuahua. 
Popularity aside, the Chihuahua remains the healthiest and longest-lived breed on Earth. Chihuahuas typically live between 15 and 20 years and have few major genetic illnesses. A Chi is typically a healthy dog. The amount of energy a Chihuahua can possess is surprising. A Chi is willing to play as long as you are. Because of their small size, however, they can get all the exercise they need in the comfort of your living room. Training a Chihuahua can be an enjoyable task. They are successful in several different dog sports, such as agility and obedience. Sadly, because of their small size, owners often make the mistake of skipping obedience and socialization, and the breed ends up with a reputation as being little monsters. A well-trained and properly socialized Chihuahua is a pleasure to be around. Besides coming in two coat types, Chihuahuas are found in a range of colors and markings. They can be solid colors, such as black, white, fawn, chocolate, gray, and silver, as well as tricolored, brindle, spotted, merle, and a variety of other markings. The Chihuahua is a wash-and-go dog. Grooming takes only a few minutes each week. Brush your chi weekly with a rubber grooming mitt or a brush with short natural bristles for a short-haired Chihuahua and a pin brush for a long-haired Chihuahua. A fine-toothed flea comb helps remove loose or dead hair. I'll put links for each in the description. The Chihuahua story doesn't end here. The breed remains popular in the 21st century. Between 2008 and 2012, Disney released the Beverly Hills Chihuahua series of movies starring a pair of cheese named Angel and Rusko as Chloe and Pappy. And we don't see this tiny, intelligent, and loyal companion dog that is perfect for both city life and tiny home living dropping out of the popularity charts anytime in the near future. In fact, with people adopting more nomadic lifestyles, fan life, tiny homes, etc., we see the Chihuahua's small size and loving nature propelling it to the top spot once again. It's the perfect dog for the modern world. From ancient lost civilization to modern nomads, the Chihuahua's charm transcends times and cultural norms. Here are a few more videos for you to enjoy. Might as well smash that subscribe button for future videos. And as always, catch you next time.